Nirvana, welcome to the show. It's incredible yeah. to have you here. Tell me, how are you today? I'm doing pretty well, to be honest. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. So, uh, so yeah, welcome to the show. As I said before, it's incredible to have you here. And, you know, let's jump into the review. Let's dig into questions. Let's go back in time and tell me where does this passion for acting start? Oh my gosh, Dan. Well, it goes back to when I was a small child. I started in the dance world. Um, I was a very shy kid. My mom put me in ballet. I decided I wanted to be a ballerina. I took that road for many years. I became a professional ballerina. Um, after I sustained a really bad injury, um, I had to pivot my life. And long story short, I moved to New York City to try to pursue more Broadway style dance because I couldn't do ballet anymore. Um, I discovered the theater in general and uh, my passion for storytelling and that's really what was rooted in my passion for dance. Uh, I went to some theater school there and then that was it. I fell in love with telling stories through characters and uh, yeah and here I am in Vancouver now uh, working in film and television for the last 15 years. That's so cool. So mm. basically starting from the bottom now mm -hmm. we're here. Yeah, exactly. I could tell you the long-winded story, but that's the short and sweet. That's the short one, okay. Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, yeah, I'll take it. It's cool. I love it. Simple. Amazing. But uh, so time went by, but tell me, what were some of the challenges that you had when you were making those first steps in your acting career? Oh, man. Challenges. There are so many challenges in the acting world. Um, I think uh, discovering, um, you know, For me, acting was never about being famous or having, um, you know, being on the cover of magazines. That was not the reason why I went into acting. I, I come from the, the theater, as I mentioned. Um, I love stories. I love getting into different characters. I'm a real empath as a human being, and I love to step into other people's shoes and kind of feel what the world feels like for them. And to me, that's what like gives me life when I get to step into somebody else's shoes. So, um, you know, it was just, it, it was trying to find my footing in uh, first the theater and then now in film and TV uh, and to where, how I fit into that world. Um, you know, I'm not your typical um, girl. So it's, it's a bit, it's been a bit of a tough road. And I think a lot of that has to do with, um, You know, acting is a weird thing. It's one of those things where you have to have, you know, luck. You have to have right place, right time. You have to have the talent. You have to have the drive. You have to know the people. Um, there's so many little things that recipe pieces that fit into becoming a great actor and becoming, you know, a, a successful, um, whatever success means to you, but a successful actor. And so I think it was just letting go of a lot of expectations that I had along the way and then eventually finding what what worked for me and so a lot of those roadblocks were you know just thinking that you know by a certain age I had to be doing a certain thing and you know and then when I didn't get there you know trying to find a way back and, and getting back on track and being like I'm not there to be famous remember this like I'm here to tell stories so what does that mean to me and just kind of always reminding myself of what was important um, in my acting journey Okay. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And tell me, what are the usual, yeah, like what is your usual approach when you are about to start this journey of creating a character? Okay. Well, creating characters is so much fun. Um, I'm a trained actor in different, lots of different techniques and a lot of actors like to do one certain thing. I find that I use lots of different ways into an, a character. So depending on the character, Um, I'm a big believer in text analysis. I'm a writer too. So I know that, you know, on the page, I'm going to look for all the clues that I can possibly find about a character first. So, um, you know, I'll read everything I can about the character. If it's based on another person, I'll find all, like, do all the research first. And then I'll find an in with me. So if there's something that I can relate to with that character first, I'll, I'll find that and I'll, you know, make it bigger inside me. Sometimes I have a really hard time getting into character, so I'll find another way in. Um, sometimes it's through my physical body. Um, as I said, I was a dancer, so I like to use um, 
animals and different kind of like physical beings to like get into the body of the character and like and then go for a walk in in the world as that character in that body and how they might walk and how they might feel and so that'll kind of give me some insight into what this character's like um you know there's lots of different ways but usually it's it's like i see a little sliver of light that is reflected in my own person and then i kind of like try to dig into that and and what parts of jovanna can i like you know make bigger and and other parts of me that i can make smaller in order to create a character that's alive and thriving i love it and also the, you know i find pretty cool the fact that you get the chance to do so many things you know you can be from I don't know, from teacher to astronaut to cop to lawyer to doctor to mobster. I mean, like all of the ba all of the like variety of possibilities that you get the chance to play as a character. I find that pretty cool because it also I mean, I would assume, right, that, that gives you the opportunity to discover more about yourself, but also discover more about how how either a cop or a doctor might live you know like how like you get a chance to be in those like in those in those shoes for a while exactly yeah i think it's like acting such a crazy thing because it's all about vulnerability right like it's all about being your most vulnerable self and letting things affect you and so you know uh, stepping into the shoes of a cop is very different than stepping into the shoes of a social worker or stepping into the shoes of you know a mom with five kids okay. so yeah it's just it's really fun i'm very grateful for for the opportunity that i that i get to to play all these different characters and i love it now yeah. so, so tell me like what has been your worst audition ever oh my gosh worst audition <laughs> i could write a book um let's see okay well there's one that comes to mind i don't know if it was a worst audition but it was more like the reaction that happened afterward i went into um an audition for a character that was um that had to sing and also had to have an accent and they were very very like adamant about the fact that this character needed this accent and needed to be able to sing in this particular style and um so i prepped it and i prepped it really well and i was the first one to go into the room and this is like a callback session so I'd already done like an initial audition. I knew that I had done well. I go into the callback session and um, I go in there and I feel like, awesome. I, I nailed it, like I did a good job. I felt like they were all really happy. And the casting assistant comes out into the waiting room and she's like, um, no more singing, anybody. Uh, we don't want to hear an accent and we don't want any singing. I was like, wow, I guess they're really, stunk it up for all of you guys because now they don't even want the accent or the singing <laughs> like it yeah. was one of those moments and you're sitting there with like five other peers because at that time they would only bring like five to ten people back and it's like sweet i just totally sucked so i guess i'm not getting that job <laughs> you know <laughs> anyways yeah that one really sticks in my mind because it was like one of those really sour moments um uh yeah i i that's i don't for some reason that one really sticks out there's been many though yeah i got understand. i love it and uh and tell me like how you how you deal with the second thoughts after the audition you know after so you did an audition perhaps was good perhaps was not good but how you manage your mind to kind of uh, get away from the like get away to keep you you know on the same wheel over and over that you could have done this instead of that go here instead of there you know like how you manage to put away those thoughts and continue with your day Oh yeah, uh, it's been years of training myself. At first it was really, really hard. I'd think about it for days. Nowadays, um, you know, I have so much going on in my life. I think I focus on other things. So I do the work, I do the audition, and then I let it go every single time. It's like, okay, and then I'll forget. Like my agent will call me and be like, oh, hey, you booked blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what, what which one, who? Like, I just, I have to let it go because I found that when I dwelled on it and like it sat and marinated in me, it just, it made me crazy. Cause I was like, oh, I could have done this. And it's just not healthy for me. So I just decided over time, it took a very long time to learn to let it go and just be like, you know what? It is what it is. I did what I could do in that moment. And I shared myself in that moment. I got to play and that's it. You know, there's nothing I can do to change it. So 
um, I've learned that taking those like auditions are actually gifts to me because it's like a moment for me to get to play. Yeah. And, um, and so that's what I take it as now. It's like my auditioning, auditioning is my job as an actor. They, it is our job, right? Totally. And so, uh, I take it as my time to get to play that character because I may never get to play the char character again. Right. So if I have the opportunity to do it now, then I'm going to give it everything I have and it is what it is. And these days, because since COVID, everything is on tape, oh. right? So it's very, very different world um, than it used to be. And, you know, you kind of, I'm of the mindset that, you know, you do one or two takes and that's it, you know, because that's how it is in the room and that's how it is on set. Oh. You know, you don't get to do it 10 times. So be prepared, do your two takes and see you later. And there you go. I love right. it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Now, let's say that one day I call you mm -hmm. and I tell you that I want to become an actor. Now, I don't have any experience at all, but I want to, you know, start from zero, throw everything away and focus on this career now. So what advice would you give to me? Train. Train, 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 train. Um, you can overtrain, of course, but I would say uh, get in class because if you you really need to learn about acting like I said is about vulnerability and we as human beings um, from the time we're children to the time we're adults we create this protective layer right to protect ourselves from all the things that are happening in the world and um, coming into a career like this as an adult you've created quite a shell and so it's about cracking that shell open and letting it go and then being able to play in this vulnerable state and it's really scary mm. It's not something that, you know, you can do. It's not like you can kind of, if, if you're if you're not being truthful in a character, I can tell, you know? And so it's about cracking open that shell and then finding the truth within and, and stepping into that character. And so it takes a certain amount of training to understand how to do that for you because there's so many different methods of acting and not every method's gonna work for you, right? So I might give you like um, a certain type of, you know repetitive method and that you might be like oh, this is bs i don't like this mm. or you might get into like uh, method acting and you're like oh i don't like the way this feels it doesn't work for me and then maybe you might find a different type and that's like your way so it's just about finding what works for you and your body and and everything and so that's like to me anytime somebody comes up to me and says hey oh my kid really wants to learn how to act and like put him in theater like put him in class see how he likes it for real because it's not all the glitz and glam that you see out there in Hollywood it really is a lot of hard work it's a craft and it's really about learning acting is all about learning about yourself really at the end of the day it's knowing yourself so well that you can pull pieces of yourself apart and create characters right so yeah I would say uh, long answer to short oh okay. I love it I'll, yeah. <laughs> I'll promise that if I become an actor and I get my Oscar mm -hmm. as Best Actor, I'll be mentioning yeah. I'll be mentioning you in my thank you speech. Oh, <laughs> that's very cute. Very sweet. Count on it. Count on it. Now, um, if you, I mean, let's say that Disney Plus, HBO, Max, Netflix, you name it, they come to you and they tell you that they got this and they got this idea of a film that basically goes that all of the characters you have played at the moment, they're all going to gather to celebrate your birthday. Now, all of the characters, basically, since day one until the most recent one, all of those, they're going to gather to celebrate your birthday. Tell me what would be the name of the film. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, I would say it's probably something like... Oh, my gosh, like Pieces of Me or something like that. Or like um... Welcome to the Crazy Show. <laughs> <laughs> something like that I mean if if you put together every single character I've ever played it would be insane because I've played such a range I don't really have a type because I'm mm. I love characters so um you know I've played monsters I've played killers I've played the girl next door I've played, so it's it, yeah it would be some kind of crazy movie yeah um, yeah pieces. yeah and Jesus, a crazy me. And know. like, what genre would it be? Would it be like comedy, dark comedy, horror, perhaps? Like, what would it be? You know, I think it would be a comedy. It would have comedy. to be in order to make it work. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. true. That's true. Okay. <laughs> what about describing your whole career, but on a drink? How would you describe it? Oh, wow. Uh, 
it would be like a shaken, not stirred martini. Fancy, okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. But here's a catch. Yeah. Let's say, let's say I go to a bar, mm -hmm. and I want to have that drink. How do I call it? Okay. Okay. Well, I think it would have to, you know what? I would say the drink would have to be like, it wouldn't be clear. It would be like a brown color. So brown what color. would we put okay. inside or like a, you know, like it would be muddled, like muddy, a okay. muddy, muddy mm. martini, maybe like a chocolate, chocolate espresso, like shaken martini. Uh, what would we call it? A mud martini. <laughs> <laughs> my fourteen. Okay. Yeah. Sounds interesting. Oh so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it had some cookie crumble in it or something. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A little salt <laughs> rim. It would be very weird. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would look pretty weird, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll have a couple of those. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Maybe pretty it's cool. more of a shot. Yeah. True. True. I mean, there's only there's only one way to find out. So yeah, I guess we're gonna have to make one. Have there you go. One. Sounds like a plan. I love it. Now, um, now, before asking like my last question here is, I mean, I was I was like uh, checking like all of the work that you have been, and it's incredible. I mean, the list is huge. I mean, I could usually I could usually say, this is so. This is Giovanna. She's doing everything. Good night, everyone. <laughs> That's it. You know, Aww. it's in, it's incredible what you do. I mean, we're talking about acting, producing, writing. It's incredible. So. Thanks. That that being said, tell me like what motivates you? You know, we all have those days that we just want to quit, you know, regardless of how things might be, even if they're good or not that good, whatever, we still have this thought that we need to quit, you know, that is, that is a waste of time. So getting inside into this toxic bubble, it's way too easy, so always. But my but the real question here is what pushes you back, like what puts you back again on this road that you have created for so many years now and put away and put behind all of those toxic thoughts. You know what, Dan? Um, I've always wanted to be able to tell stories that impact people. Okay. Um, stories that change people that, that um, you know, that, that might make you go home at night and actually think about it for a long time. Like that's kind of like, that's, that's the dream for me. And um, it's taken a very long time to get to a place where I can actually yeah. start to begin to tell those kinds of stories because, um, you know, I I started a, a little bit later than than a lot of people as in acting because I was a dancer first, um, and it took me some time to find my my direction, um, but I always knew I wanted to tell. Uh, you know, stories that that would impact people and really make them think. So um, I always knew I wanted to produce and write. So it took me time to learn how to do those things. Um, and obviously creating characters is part of that for me as an actor. Um, but I still have, I don't feel like I, I've told that story yet. You know, the one that really like changes things for somebody or that I feel like has impacted the world in a way that I want to impact the world. So I feel like I'm still trying to um, find my path there. And so little by little, you know, telling small stories here or there or somebody else's story that impacts me, that might impact other people, um, you know, is, is kind of where I'm at. And I just get really excited by, um, by stories that make me feel a certain way. And so um, I've been very lucky, very fortunate to have the opportunity to help other people tell their stories lately. And, uh, and I'm finding kind of a new path with producing. So I think I'm just really motivated to continue to tell these. And as a writer, I have like an arsenal of movies that I want to make and a TV series that I have like, you know, that we've been pitching and that we're trying to get made as well. So I don't know. I just feel like I'm kind of in the mix right now for a lot of things and I just want to keep going until something hits the fan and maybe impacts people in, in the way that I've always wanted. And that's how the, the crumble is amazing. I mean, as I've been saying here, your career is pretty badass. Let me just tell you that. I mean, I'm, oh, I'm so impressed of how, like the list of, yeah, like the list of content here, it's amazing. I mean, it's more than obvious that, that, uh, that you have changed 
someone's life at some point. I'm super sure about it because, as I said, the fact that you're doing it because you like it, you know, a, a simple and cliche that for some people might think, we all know that sometimes it can take your whole life to finally discover what what you want to do, you know, what actually moves you. Yeah. The fact that you found it, the fact that you have that you have gone through so yeah that that you have pushed and continue on this on this journey and you have been in so many projects here and there which i know that that i mean that it it wasn't easy and i'm and i'm and i'm sure that along the way there were moments in which you were like you know what i'm done you know oh, yeah. i'm moving it's... into something totally different here but the fact that you have still there that you have still create and you have still besides giving us entertainment and and emotions and things like that you're also showing us that dreams can come true and that is one of the things that i love about actors the fact that you guys at the end of the day are showing us as i said before giving i mean besides giving us entertainment you are also showing us that dreams can come true you know that you that everything is possible but of course there's this huge amount of work that you need to do but it is possible and i think that's hope enough for everyone to be like you know what if they could do it i could do it or to be like it's possible you know which i do think that sometimes we forget about it and we don't follow our dreams because i don't know because we think that we are that we are not be able, that we are might not going to be able to make it or things like that mm-hmm. but at the end as i said you were showing us that you could do it and wow. as i said <laughs> here's a proof no, no, what else can i say that's a really um humbling thing that you're saying to me thank you so much i really appreciate that um and i really do believe that we all can and should uh, not give up on our dreams because life is very short so um you know follow what makes your heart happy if you can and even if it's just you know on the sidelines when it's late at night or early in the morning and just keep doing it brick by brick you know brick by brick and that and that's it i mean as i said what 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 can i say uh Yvonne, i love your career it's super oh, cool you. it's amazing keep inspiring keep keep showing us that 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 everything can be possible and i'm super sure that there's hundreds of people out there who rely on you and who sees you as a role model or 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 someone that they want to achieve at some point because you are making things happen and that's total badass so um mm-hmm. that being said i want to thank those also who watch this video thank you so so much make sure to leave a like subscribe follow it helps a lot let me know in the comments about what do you think about this incredible actress that i'm speaking right now and Let's also make it viral. So the video is over, but in the description below, you, you, you're gonna see a link which goes to her social media. Let's make her viral, hashtag Team Giovanna, because she's amazing. And um, again, thank you so much for making this happen. Have an incredible rest of the day, an incredible upcoming weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for having me, Dan. I'm really humbled to be on your show. Thank you. All right. <laughs>